Bezat Hashem, Seyata Dishmaya with uh, Lag Bomer coming up. We'll do a little bit of learning about uh, Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai and the whole entire idea of what Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai represents in the world. And we're going to start with the introduction to Likutei Moran of Rabbi Nachman. This is Mamash, the introduction to Likutei Moran. He says, like this, From the secrets of the greatness of the Tana Eloki, the godly Tana, Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai. Come and see the works of God, an amazing revelation concerning the mystery and the greatness of the godly sage, Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai. Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai gave us assurances that through him, the Torah would not be forgotten from the Jewish people. As our sages taught us in Masechet Shabbat, it says, Chazal say, when our rabbis entered the yeshiva in Yavne, Kerem Yavne, right? they said the Torah will be, one day be forgotten by the Jews. That's it, we're in a situation where right? the temple was destroyed, there's a few chachamim left. One day we're going to forget all of this. Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai got up and he said that would not be forgetting, forgotten. Like it says in Sefer Dvarim, in the Mishneh Torah, in the end of the Torah, it says, it will not be forgotten from the mouth of his offspring. It won't be forgotten from the mouth of his offspring. And in the Zohar Kadosh, it says because of this, the book of the Zohar, the book of the Zohar, the Jews will be redeemed from exile. It is because of the Zohar that the Jews will come out of the exile. So now come and see and understand, says Rabbi Nachman, the hidden wonders of our Holy Torah. This is why Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai based himself on this verse. It will not be forgotten from the mouth of his offspring. Right? For in, the truth is, this mystery is hinted inside and concealed inside that very verse. Through the offspring of Yochai, right? The Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai. He's the son of Yochai. So he's the offspring of Yochai. That being Rashbi, the Torah will not be forgotten by the Jews. This is because if you take the final letters of the verse, Kid Lo Tishakach Mipi Zaro, you get the letters Yochai. It won't be forgotten from the seed of Yochai, Yochai. This is what the verse hints to and reveals. It will not be forgotten from the mouth of his offspring, specifically from the mouth of his offspring. Whose offspring? Yochai's offspring. Who is that? Rabbi Shimon. That is from the mouth of the offspring of the one who is himself alluded to in the hidden verse. Because of the offspring of Yochai, which is the last letters of this verse, being Rashbi, Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai, the Torah will not be forgotten. Because by way of the Zohar, all of Amisa will come out of Gedut. Our redemption is dependent on the Zohar, as we said before. And no, the mystery of Rabbi Shimon himself is alluded to in another place, Rabbi Nachman says. Rabbi Nachman says that Rabbi Shimon corresponds to the pasuk from Daniel. Daniel, the prophet Daniel says, Ir v'kadish min shmaya nachit, an angel, a holy one, descended from heaven. The first letters of that are Shimon. So Rabbi Shimon is hinted to in the verse in Daniel 4, chapter 4, verse 10. And there you get the word Shimon. That an angel, a holy one, descended from, from heaven. Ir v'kadish min shmaya nachit. That is Rabbi Shimon. So that's a little bit of an introduction according to Rabbi Nachman. That's how he opens his most powerful book, Likutei Moran. Rabbi Nachman decided that it was important to introduce people to the secrets of the Torah by way of Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai. So now we want to understand and we want to ask the question, what is the idea of the revelation of these secrets, specifically now in, our last, in this generation, right now, and why is the Zohar Kadosh being talked about so much and spread out? Rashbi was given reshut, was given permission and the authority to, re to reveal these secrets. The Kabbalah was passed from Moshe and Mount Sinai, and it went through whisper, it went through, through hidden teachings from generation to generation between all of the people in each generation that were fitting to receive this wisdom. Right? But after the destruction, the Shekhinah ended up in Galut, the revelation and the presence of God being in this world, so to say, is in exile. Then we had to be, we had to, then it had to be that these secrets had to become more revealed. And whoever merited whoever was, who was chosen to become the person that would reveal these secrets in the world, that was Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai. They gave him the permission and they gave him the ability to start to, to develop and to reveal these secrets outward. In a way that everybody can be able to hold on to these secrets. 
And after him, throughout the generations, there were a few other tzaddikim and holy souls that, like the, like the Rabbeinu Arizal, right, the Baal Shem Tov, the Rabbi Nachu, and the, the certain tzaddikim, that they continue to, to, to generate and to, and to develop and to clarify more and more and more these finer details that Rabbi, that Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai revealed into the world. So what's the inner accent, what's the inner intention here? The true secret Torahs, the true secrets of the Torah, it's not about knowing just the secret of the world. Whoever learns only the order of the worlds and the lights, then you're dealing with the external Torah, the external secrets of the Torah, right? To know the tree of life and to know what is us. Uh, to know all of that system, okay, great, that's the structure, that's, just, that's the external, most physical aspect of that spiritual teaching. This is the revealed of the concealed. But whoever learns Nistar, who learns the secrets of the Torah, and he thinks that the main thing is is the is the details and the and the concepts and the finer details of Kabbalah, without understanding that the main thing is to comprehend and to live the reality of godliness and the oneness of Hashem Barach, then God forbid he can come to a place of what's called agshama, materializing, personifying. God forbid that's a very dangerous thing. That is mamash. It can be avodah zarah. It can be complete idol worship, to think that Hashem has parts, to not understand, to, right? To call this world godly that the that the computer or the phone is God, right? These are very, very problematic things. Whoever says about the revealed Torah, that the stories of Avram and, and Moshe and all of them are, are simply put, that's just all there is to learn is the, is the history or the, is the story itself. The Zohar Kadosh screams at this person great, great lengths and says, are you crazy? The Zohar calls a person like that a fool. A foolish person. Raze Torah Shehem Kipshutan. A person that looks, who looks at the secrets of the Torah and says, ah, that's, that's just, that's a simple understanding. They have no inner godliness. Moshe went and he saw a burning bush. Yeah, he just saw a bush on fire. It doesn't mean anything more. Whoever thinks like that is not really understanding. But the Tzadikim revealed the path of truth to remove all of the physicality from the learning of Kabbalah and to cling to the inner light. And this is the depth of what the Rashash wrote, that Rashbi, God forbid, cursed whoever separates the godly light from the bringing down of mochin, from the bringing down of intellect. Because the main thing is to cling, to your, cling yourself to godliness. The main aspect of the hidden Torah, of the secrets of the Torah that Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai revealed, is to learn from a place of an internal connection and an internal attachment to Hashem, a relationship with Hashem. That this, this, the reason you open the book, the reason you want to learn Torah is to seek out God and to find the light of Hashem that's hidden inside the learning, inside every single word, inside every single letter. To be successful in understanding that Hashem is the inner aspect of everything. And you can learn Gemara, you can learn Tosvot, you can learn that as if it's the secrets and the, the deepest parts of the, of the Torah. But the mifteach, the, the key to go into the secrets of the Torah and to reach a level of dvekut, an internal relationship by way of your learning, and to seek out godliness in every single word, that's what's called in the, in the, in, in the world, sodot Torah, the secrets of Torah. This is the, in general, the path of Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai. This is what it is, pinimiut, the internal aspects. Rabbi Shimon was coming to reveal the neshama that's behind everything in this world. Rashbi is the big warrior when it comes to the ideas of, of physicality and externality. And Rabbi, Nachman, uh, Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai girds his loins and, and, and puts on his, his war belt and his war garments in order to fight with the holy fire of the religion of the Torah to look only at the, the internal reality of the world, to not get tricked up and, and, and confused by way of what we see with our physical eyes. The Sefer Zohar Kadosh, so what is Rabbi, Na, Rabbi, Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai's biggest revelation to the world? The Zohar, the holy book of the Zohar. The Zohar Kadosh reveals this inner light. 
And then by way of it, that's the reason that Rabbi Nachman taught us, right? And it says from the Zohar that by way of this book, Am Yisrael will be redeemed from, from Galut, from exile. Why? Like Rashbi says, It's by way of this book that we're going to get out of Galut. Rabbi, Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai, his soul, revealed the light of, of the Zohar Kadosh, which are orot mekifin, which are encompassing lights that surround us. That they give you something to look forward to. They're above what you really comprehend, so it's like your aspirations are rooted there. And, they, and it's enticing you to come closer to the Shekhinah and to serve Hashem in an internal way. And the Zohar Kadosh, its light, guards over the soul of, the, of Amisa and teaches the children of Israel wisdom, chokhmah, meaning the secrets of Yichud, the secrets of how Hashem is one in everything that you experience. But it teaches it in a way, in a fashion, that you have to be connected very well to the gates of Bina, to the gates of, of understanding one thing from another. And that's the actual practical work that we have to do in this world. That we shouldn't be a person that that your, your wisdom is more than your actions. A person that learns a lot but he doesn't live it, right? He knows to tell you, yeah, that's in this world and that's in that world and this is this and that, and so, chesed, givura, but he doesn't actually, it never, it never does anything internally. This is the way of Rashbi. This is the way of Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai to seek out the internal aspect while guarding the external actions in practicality and to be disgusted by physicality and by externality when it's by itself. But be, to be able to look at everything and to, to be able to drill through all of the klipa, all of the external husk to get straight away to the godly light that's behind the thing. So we have to know how to approach learning the Torah, learning the Torah of Rabbi Shimon Baruchai, which is the Zohar Kadosh. Whoever hasn't gotten to the level that they're learning the secrets of the Torah, it's still very, very beneficial to be dealing with the Zohar Kadosh, to be learning the Zohar Kadosh. Because the words of the Zohar are like fiery coals, and it opens up and illuminates the inner aspect of the soul, and it arouses a person with a great desire towards his Father in Heaven. And this is the zgula of the Zohar. This is the auspicious thing of the Zohar, that inside of it, Rabbi Shimon placed inside of there the light, this internal light that he revealed. And therefore, it's very beneficial to set up a time, a certain amount of time that you can learn every single day Zohar. And every single Jew is fitting for this. You just have to be able to learn it with tahara, with purity. And that you shouldn't think that you really understand the full depth of what you're, being, what you're reading inside the book. Only you're understanding according to the level that you're at. And in the beginning, it's better to learn the parts, the revealed parts of the Zohar. Two-thirds of the Zohar is just revealed Midrash of Rabbi Shimon Yochai. One part is very, very, very deep and very concealed. But at least get started with the simpler teachings of the Zohar that arouse a fire, insi- arouse a fire inside of you towards an inner connection in your heart to Hashem Yitbarach. And whoever learns Zohar, it influences their sons and their sons and their sons for all of the generations that they should be Students of Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai. That's what it says in the footnote. And it's taught inside the Zohar that become, before Mashiach coming, there will be a flood in the world, and this flood will have all of the powers of impurification inside of it. And the only advice that you have to get saved from this flood of, of heresy that comes into the world is to go inside the Tevat Noach, inside the Ark of Noach, Noah's Ark. And that is the, the wisdom of the Zohar. And the intention is not only on learning the Zohar simply. That even though that's a very, very lofty thing, just to learn the Sefer Zohar is a very lofty thing. But the main thing is to live it, to live a connection to the Zohar, to live a connection to Hashem Barach, and to go inside a dveku to Hashem, to have a connection and a relationship with Hashem, to live out godliness in this world, and to completely ignore all of the vanity and all of the physicality of this world and to only see how the Torah is the light of Hashem, and how the whole entire creation is revealing the light of Hashem in the world. Until you get to a point where you understand, according to your level, Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad. Hear, o Israel, the Lord is one, right? The Lord is your God, the Lord is one. Enod Milvado, there's nothing besides Hashem. To live it your whole entire life, that this should be your life, a life of emuna. This is the teachings of Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai. Lechu v'chazu, right? The, the teachings in the Gemara are written in a form of Tashma. Come and listen. The teachings of the Zohar are written Tachaze, come see. Seeing is higher, is higher than sight, right? When you can see something, it's in front of you, it's right there. The Zohar is a book that comes and makes Hashem able to 
able to have a relationship with him. It becomes part of your life. And when you can live with that emunah, then you're tapped into Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai. And then when you get experience of something physical in this world, one of the creations of Hashem, you can say the pasuk, Mi b'sari eloka. From my flesh, I will see God. What's from my flesh? That's the secret of the letters, Mi Rashbi. From Rashbi. From the teachings of Rashbi. Basar, right? Flesh. And Rashbi is the same letters. From my flesh, from the physical world, by way of Rabbi Shimon, from Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai, I'm able to see God. I'm able to have an interaction with Hashem in anything that I go through in life. Whether it's a physical thing, going to work in the, throughout the day, taking care of my children, learning Torah, I'm engaged with the inner aspect of what I'm feeling externally. Externally, I see a human being. I see a camera. I see a book. But what's beyond that? There's a spark of Hashem that's giving it life and existence and a purpose in this world. And that's what I'm engaged with. Bezat Hashem, may the lights of Rabbi Shimon Bar Yochai be upon us. May we all be blessed by way of the Zohar Kadosh to come out of our own personal galut and all of the nation of Israel's galut and bring the whole entire world to a higher level of consciousness in Hashem. Amen. Amen.